right, now that my phone has booted up, I'm now running Calculin's E4 GT ROM on my Epic Touch 4G. So I'm going to go ahead and give a quick review of it. As you can see, stock lock screen, stock Galaxy S2 lock screen. Very nice. That's my favorite lock screen, so I do like that, that that was included. But um, also some nice features to it. Um, as you can see, it's got more than four dock, four uh, icons down at the bottom. You can actually customize it to have one, two, five now. So very nice there that it has five uh, different icons down there as opposed to four. And the app drawer itself has a lot more icons as well. So you have more icons, so you're going to have less pages in the app drawer. So you got more icons to choose, for, choose from on one page. So nice tweaks there to stock touch was launcher so as you can see touch was for launcher comes by default you also can go to your app drawer and find home switcher right there select it it comes with launcher pro as well so you can just hit launch if you want to try launcher pro so you have touch Wiz or launcher pro either one whether you want to try one or the other so just a heads up there as you can see it looks like it's got the new market new updated market let's go ahead and check up the status bar it's got stock gingerbread Battery icon stock signal bars, but it does have battery percentage. So as you can see, mine says 88%. If you can see that stock 3G icon as well. Um, go ahead and swipe down in the notification bar. As you can see, transparent notification bar. So very cool there. You can completely see through it. Very nice, but you do have the notifications bar down at the bottom. And icons up here are themed as well. So very cool theming job. It lights up green as you select them. So nice theming job there on these icons up there. I'm going to go ahead and go to settings and scroll down to about phone. Another thing to notice is it doesn't have overscroll glow. You actually have a bounce feature right there. So as you go up and down, it bounces. That actually happens on the Epic, the original Epic 4G when you're on Froyo. So just a heads up there, or I believe it might have it on this as well. I'm not sure if overscroll glow comes stock with this phone. I can't even remember. But anyways, it might be just stock with this phone. I'm going to go to about phone. And scroll down. As you can see, Calculens E4 GT ROM version 1.0 right there. So there you go. It does come with the Lost Kernel right there. As you can see, he included the Lost Kernel, which is which is very nice. I'm, I'm glad he included the Lost Kernel. That's by far my favorite kernel, the one I recommend to everyone because loss of signal is pretty much not there. You also know, see event one. You might see that you have a one, a one X icon up at the top as opposed to a 3G icon. This is when you are on 2G network that it'll show the one X icon as opposed to the 3G icon so just a heads up there if you do see that it's just because your data speeds will be a little slower so that's very nice that it has that feature to let you know whether you're in a higher speed or lower speed area I'm going to go ahead and go to and the dialer real quick as you can see it has a stock dialer right there I'm going to go to contacts I'm going to try and add a contact I'm going to open up a the keyboard I think he might have added a separate keyboard I'm gonna to go to input method he did so you have the HTC keyboard right there along with swipe and Samsung keypad I'm sorry if you can't see that guys you might not be able to sorry about that but you have the HTC keyboard so I'm gonna open that up it's all white it's kinda of hard to see white in the light I'm in I'm sorry guys but anyways it, as you can see it has the stock HTC keyboard right there which is a very cool addition I'm gonna try and turn the phone so you can see it I'm very sorry about this about the light lighting I'm I apologize but anyway as you can see you have HTC keyboard you also will notice by default haptic feedback set off to change this you go to settings and then go to sound and then scroll down and you have haptic feedback right there so just check that if you like haptic feedback on the bottom back lip buttons there so now as you can see it'll be vibrating now that it uh, was turned on but that's set off off by default in case you were wondering but otherwise it has a nice uh, tweaks to it I believe when your battery is at 100% to 85% it runs at 1.2 gigahertz Hertz, which is the default of what it runs at when it goes to 84 to 36 percent it runs at one gigahertz so it's underclocked a little bit and when you're down to 35 percent and below it drops down to 800 megahertz so basically it being a dual core don't worry about too much about the speeds I'm sure you'll know you might notice a little bit difference but with underclocking it it's actually gonna increase your battery life so as your battery drops down especially below 35 percent you're gonna want to try and save all that battery you can so tweaking it and making it down to 800 megahertz will be fine I'm sure performance isn't suffered that much um, but as I have been running through it I haven't noticed any lag as you guys can see it's been running smooth and snappy so I'm very very pleased with that so nice work by Calcul in there big thanks to him once again for this ROM anytime a developer puts out a ROM it's it's a lot of hard work so be sure to be th to thank him for this really nice uh, this nice ROM so otherwise um, it seems smooth and snappy um, it I would say it could possibly be the best ROM out now. I don't know yet until I do some extensive work through it. Um, I might do a future video 
on my favorite ROM. Also, I have been testing another ACS ROM, so stay tuned for that ROM. Be, definitely be, get excited for that ROM. It's a very nice ROM as well, very an amazing ROM, actually. So stay tuned for that ROM as well. But otherwise, as you can see, just a more stock look, but with added tweaks, obviously, nice icons down there. That's a nice feature to have. It doesn't have CIQ, in case you were wondering, no uh, carrier IQ, so you don't have Sprint looking in on what you're doing or anything. So, um, But anyways, uh, that's just a quick overview of Calculin's uh, E4 GT ROM. If you do have any questions, run into any problems, just leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe as well for future videos, and follow me on Twitter or Facebook. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it.